Welcome to Invictus Voltus. When the Porsche came in the 981, uh, it's got the 3.4 litre engine. And in this video, I'll tell you a little bit about everything you kind of need to know, both from just the history, the spec, and overall what it's like to drive. Firstly, I'll just briefly cover the history. The Porsche Boxster introduced in very late 1996 kind of saved Porsche as a business. And then in 2005, they used the Porsche Boxster platform uh, as you know to produce the Porsche Boxster 987.1 and the Porsche Cayman 987.1. And you basically had the option of having a soft top Boxster or something like this, uh, a coupe. This wasn't basically a roof on a Boxster. The, the, the Cayman has a monocoque chassis. Its history kind of dates back to the Porsches of the 50s, the 356s. And now, uh, sort of the next generation of the Caymans, the, the, the completely different, the revitalized Caymans were the 981s. This is the 3.4 litre 981 Cayman S, and you can also get it in the base engine, uh, which is 2.7 litre. Um, and I think the, the 981 S is, is the more desirable, the one that holds values the one that drives absolutely amazing and this one in specifically is an absolutely phenomenal spec so the first part of the video is just a test drive i'll discuss the spec and then we'll just talk about the exterior interior spec and overall um, just values owner's history and service history let's get on to it and let's just listen to this engine first about seven and a half thousand rpm and that just goes to show the ability of the pdk transmission alongside the fact that porsches are known for a lot of torque down the lower gears and you're able to do 70 miles an hour in second gear alone which just goes to show the just the ability of these porsches in itself and i think from a driving focus point of view one couldn't find it to be more engaging than this. Now, in terms of the engine, where is the engine? This is a mid-mounted mid engine, which is literally right behind our backs. This is the engine. Just remove those carpets and right to, to, to my backside is the engine. And also the transmission is placed there as well at the back. What you find um, from the 3.4 litre naturally aspirated Boxer 6 engine from a BHP point of view is 325 brake horsepower. Torque wise is 370 newton meters of torque and the 0 to 62 miles per hour is possible in 4.9 seconds. And this is quick, but at the same time, the fact that this has a monocoque chassis eh, and weighs only 1,445 kilograms, it's all about the handling and what it's like around corners, which is where this has a life of its own. Top speed wise, this has a top speed of 175 miles per hour. Now, we can carry on talking about technical numbers and, you know, the performance and the handling, but, you know, just to kind of put this, just to kind of put the cameras in perspective, this was an absolute game changer. It's a two-seater mid-engine um, car that will have any Porsche enthusiast or any anyone interested in the Porsche be looking at one of these and I can't remember the exact year that this was the sports car of the year but you know there's so many positive good attributes that I've heard about the Porsche Caymans in itself now additionally where do you get spec wise here this has pretty much everything you can get spec wise maybe it's missing the sports exhaust uh, but that's and a modification that can very easily be done you know either by a switchable exhaust system or by deleting uh, one of the um, mufflers or just replacing both of the mufflers or you know you can do a gondor hack as such so you've got the chrono watch alongside the sport the chrono sport plus package which where you've got the sport sport plus button as well as having the psm button the uh, damper control button all of this just gives you a stiffer chassis and overall you get a lot more engagement out of your car. And when you talk about engagement, we're sitting onto the Sport Seat Plus, 
a two-way electrically adjustable hard bike and I'm holding on to a steering wheel which is known as the sport design steering wheel with paddle shifts. You can with a lot of fun drop a gear or two gears with second gear, put your foot down, go up a gear, coming up to a corner, drop it back to second, 6,000 RPM, go a gear up, now one more time. So, and if you wanted an extra layer of engagement, simply slide the gear selector alongside to the left and go down a gear. Of the accelerator brake just before the corner and so this is from the engagement point of view now if you're going to be doing a trip up to the south of France or to the north coast of Scotland it's nice to have cruise control on the motorway because it can be boring so this has cruise control you simply press this button in and push this torque in you're in the cruise control mode the front seats are also heated and the side door mirrors are auto dimming and electrically adjustable. Now on the outside this is finished in a very gorgeous Porsche pure uh, white colour combined with this amazingly um, 20 inch Carrera S satin black alloys. This also has the front and rear parking sensors and um, from a drivability point of view the Sport Chrono Plus package helps a lot but this also has the Porsche torque vectoring, the limited slip differential technology on this as well. So that just is another lovely uh, spec item to have on these. Now, the overall styling aesthetically on the outside, I think the Cayman has got to be one of the best looking Porsches in Porsche lineup by far. I don't think there's probably another Porsche that competes with this just stylistically. They look extremely ag aggressive. They look as if this is a 50,000 pound sports car, despite the fact it is now something along the line of close to 10 years old. And that brings me to the subject of values. Wow, I mean, it holds values extremely well. Five years ago, one of these went for about similar money. Five years later, they still sell for that kind of money. Uh, and that's normally between sort of 33 to 45,000 pounds, all dependent on spec, spec mileage condition now condition people tend to look after their Porsches a lot better than let's just say a Golf GTI or you know an Audi S3 or an Audi RS3 so in general you do find Porsches in much better condition compared to the Audis the VWs etc but this has a full Porsche main dealer service history um, it's got five services in it in the book it's been done every 10 or 15,000 miles and above all what you find is that the last service was done circa 417 miles ago so you know you don't need to worry about servicing one of these every single year as you would expect it on many other sports car which is every year and it can generally pay, uh, break the bank now maintenance wise people do give their Porsches a lot of love especially one that's had you know, let's just say four, five, or even six owners. This has had brand new discs, brand new pads all around on the vehicle. You know, the service just done just before we got it into our stock. So maintenance wise, it's been very well looked after. Now owners, this has four, five former keepers and the current sixth owner had it since February, 2020. Uh, so that's quite some time, over two years. So hopefully I've covered a, a bit of an all you need to know video on the Porsche Cayman 981S. If you're looking to buy one of these, we've currently got this available in stock. And if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out or if you need any advice on a Porsche that you're looking to buy elsewhere, we're happy to answer those questions. Now, lastly, don't forget to subscribe. Out of this channel, we probably earned a hundred pounds in the past 28 days that gets donated to a UK registered charity. And we're doing sort of just humanitarian projects in Afghanistan, currently doing water wells projects. So if you want to donate to them directly, link is in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.